this. This is, we are talking about this today. No, no, not this. That's a ring that I designed myself for, I am a designer. Uh, hardwood, circle, square, perfect harmony, equilibrium, timeless. Um, only one in the world, one in the world. Now, we are talking about this today, the Shit Jotunheim version 2, version 2. Um, also only one in the world, well, not one in the world, like there's like a lot of them in the world, but this version, this modification is one in the world, it's unique, and I wanted to share my modification with you because uh, my unit became pretty warm, pretty hot. Um, as we know, heat is the biggest enemy of electronics. And if you care about life expectancy, and if you want your equipment to last a very long time, also in the summer or when listening, really long listening sessions, uh, then these things become pretty warm and even hot in my case. Uh, if, you, if you touch it at, after some several hours you feel holy yeah also depends on what headphones you're driving and especially how loud you're like you know leaving the earth and your soul is like you know going to the stress stratosphere and leaving your body when you like go about this area and after some time this unit has very difficulty and you know keeping catapulting your soul into the stratosphere it becomes very hot and warm at a point where you know I, I I wonder how many years in the future this equipment will last yet uh, remains to be seen but uh, one thing that you can do of course well what I did I opened it up I installed several copper heat sinks on the most left um, transistors because according to my heat uh, thermo the heat sensing camera uh, the board was like two transistors here way on the left have the highest heat um, dissipation have the highest heat generation and the rest is like overall same kind of heat signature and uh, but even if you install copper heat sinks on on these uh, uh, units the the biggest problem is over time the jacket needs to ventilate and uh, by factory design these holes were uh, made on this part of the amplifier where there is the output channel uh, driving the uh, um, uh, the main uh, headphone uh, and um, I found out that um, it's pretty easy to take off this cover of course most important thing is to take out the uh, power plug first safety first uh, and after that I made some holes and um, for those of you with very sharp eyes, as you can see, yes, you are right. This one hole is not perfectly aligned well with the rest. That's because my steel uh, uh, drilling bit swirled around a little bit um, and uh, wandered out of, off a bit. And as you can see, it's not perfectly aligned with the rest. But in any case, I'm really like the end result. Uh, I, sh I showed it to some of my friends and they said, holy shit, uh, we like your hand drilled holes much better than the authentic original factory drills by shit audio. And uh, that was a nice compliment that if you do something with your own bare hands, as a designer or not that people think that it is much more functional much more beautiful than the actual masterpiece designers that for some reason put all the heat sinks next to each other with, with, within a like really tiny area where the most heat dissipation is like so yeah but um this unit is now much much upgraded it's now not any more hot it's now not any more uh, you know, uh, uh, feeling pretty warm. It's really nice on the touch. It's 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 gently warm and it's dissipating the heat very nicely. So I'm really really happy with the end result. And I just wanted to share with you the possibility 
of what your metal drill bits sitting in the closet can do on a sunny afternoon with your metal uh, audio gear. Even though this is a small desktop uh, headphone amplifier, it uh, generates quite a lot of heat. Let me show you the back side for those who haven't made acquaintance with this unit. Um, I've listened to several headphone amplifiers, but this one, uh, and I'm an audiophile my entire life, 40 years um, of critical listening, and I must say that this tiny, very cheap unit uh, has brought my um, uh, vocal headphones to um, to take off to a to a new level that details that I have never heard before and. I'm saying of, about music that I've listened to over 20 years in all kinds of different settings and different uh, masterpiece recordings. But uh, this is a very good headphone amplifier. I don't think that the built-in um, DAC unit is very good. I don't think at all. So I I bypass this DAC unit. I don't use it. I have tested it, of course, but that's why I know that it's not... Eh, it's okay, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I drive this unit by um, uh, balanced uh, inputs, analog balanced inputs. I have a separate dedicated DAC for that, which I will talk in a different video. And then uh, that's it. So balanced in. And then on the front, of course, you have several options that other people have covered extensively. So, no. so you can find more about it but uh, I'm um, if you if you do start with this this is my own personal design I, 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 I chose to do some things here and then some things around maintaining a square so I respected the, the, the line here and I respected the line there and then like kind of continued uh, leaving a space around the logo um, but of course this can be done in many different ways as designers will tell you so if you would do it how would you do it and uh, do share your uh, result uh, with me always remember to take out the plug and take off the casing don't start drilling like this because the drills will go into it Duh. but just saying take off this cover unscrew the button if you want if you if you need instructions um, maybe I should make a different video uh, about that also, I'm going to make a different video about how I think this sounds compared to others. But this one is just more, more about the modification I wanted to share with you. And see what you think of the end result. Lastly, I'll show you some more. Perspectives on the unit. And from above. And once more from the front. And that's my unit, folks. Limited edition to only one on this planet. How do you like that? All right, this was a video by Eftegari. I'm Eftegari. If you want me as a designer to um, help your company, then you can send me uh, a message. I will leave my company website in the description.